Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I have been making some lovely little um, paper clip dingly danglies. So I thought I would show you how to do that. They're carrying on the theme of our lovely um, Valentine's hearts. So these are so pretty. They're very sort of like shabby. Um, and they're just made out of book paper, a few little um, embellishments. So I've got my lovely rose trim there few little bits of bling, some little eyelets um, and some cheesecloth and a little bit of seam binding on there and they're just big paper clips and small paper clips so really really simple and they are so gorgeous so all as I've done I've got the book paper I've used um, my heart die cut so I've got the little one and the biggest the bigger one um, so you can also if you've got some um, little punches you can use those as well um, but I think they are absolutely gorgeous and they just sort of like dingle dangle. You know how much I love these dingly danglies. Um, and I think these are so, so pretty. Oopsie daisy. So they just pop onto your book pages, um, your journal pages I mean. And these ones here are so, so simple. These are just a little bit of chain with the little um, hearts hanging off it. With a tiny bit of bling on there. And they just dingle dangle so they can come off your page. And there's two on there like that so it's just a little little bit of chain so if you've got any broken jewelry um, any broken necklaces just use a little bit of the chain off that oops let's get this popped back on again and they are so simple to make um, this one I've just sort of like popped the little heart just off it just slightly um, and just dangle them down and there's so many different ways you can do it and they are lovely really really lovely this one here is just hanging three down from like that so I think they're just the prettiest little dingly danglies so I'm going to show you how simple they are to do I can get that back on the paper there we go let me pop those over there right so I have got some little jump rings here now I bought a new sort of like pot of them um, I'll pop a link down they're from Amazon um, and they're from 10 millimeters down to four millimeters um, you get an eight you get two seven millimeters you get three five millimeters and a four millimeter and the five millimeter ones are what I'm going to be using today and also the seven um, so these are the, just the standard perfect size um, I've also got this book paper which I've just all as I've done I pop strips of um, book paper together and I've just glued them together I've actually glued the whole piece and just cut down inch strips just like that um, for the base of them which is this bit here this bit that I folded over like that so you need sort of like one inch strips and it's just glued together so you've got two layers on there depending on how thick you want it and again these ones I have just cut out die cut some hearts that size and some little smaller ones like that so I'm going to pop those over there so the first thing I did that you will do to make the bigger one I'm going to take a bigger paper clip I'm not quite sure how big these ones are two inches so two inches and I suppose that's probably that's one inch so the bigger ones are two inches and all I've done I folded the piece of paper over now you want to fold it over so you've got the writing in the right direction this side so just fold it in half and just rip it down so it just you've got a piece that's in half and the other way I did it as well I just want just one a little bit smaller so just two sections that's torn off and then they just sit on top of each other like that so it's just different levels and then what you can do you can dingle dangle a heart off this one and this one like that so I'm just going to ink around the edge let me just get my bit more ink on here I think just go around the edges and along the bottom just on one side just like that so this is just um, walnut stain that I'm using today like that 
and then I glued now I'm going to pop it on here first before I glue it I'm going to pop this one on and then this one on just slip it through this way pop it through like that so they sit together and then what you want to do is just glue this bit I'm just going to use a little bit of glue stick just going to glue this little bit down just like that and again this side just so they stick together and then again just glue them together So they're all stuck nicely down. There we go. Now you can have them make them a bit thicker, but I think two sheets is depends how um, fragile your book paper is. Now on how many layers you could do a couple more if you wanted them just a little bit thicker, but I find two should be enough. So then I am going to take one of my little hearts. And what should we do? Should we just pop that? I think I might just pop it in the middle. I'm going to put one there and one there, a little hole there. Now I'm going to use a little bit of cheesecloth, just as we do, like that. And I've got some pink somewhere. A little bit of sort of a shabby pink colour, which is pretty. So let's wrinkle this up a little bit. Just like that, and this little piece here. I'm going to stick this underneath. So let's use a little bit of glue stick. Oops, too easy. Pop that on. Pop that over the top. And I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue just to glue the top one on. Just a little bit of tacky glue. And pop that little heart over the top. Just like that. Squash it down. Pop a little bit of card underneath if you wanted to, if you wanted to just give it a little bit more dimension. Um, but I think that's fine to be going into a journal. Right, now I'm going to pop a little hole here just like that and a little hole there I'm going to pop a couple of little eyelets in there I've only got black tiny little black ones so I'm going to have to use those so pop that in there take my little copper dial and pop that in Oops, pop that on top, and there we go. So that's your two little holes to, to hang your little um, bits of heart on. So I'm going to take two little hearts, I've just um, inked around the edges, and I'm going to pop a little hole in here, just there. On this side, put that out up there so I can see. Pop that in there. Right, to get my pliers, and I'm going to pop a little jump ring in here. Find it. I'm going to pop it on a couple of jump rings, I think. Let's pop two in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bigger one, which is the 7mm one. That's not, this is this one here. Pop that through like that and hang that off there. So 
that dangles down and then we're going to pop the heart off of this one. Just make sure he's hanging the right way. This way I think. Just like that so he dingles, dingly dangles down. And then we have another one. So we'll take a bigger one. Oops. Pop that onto there. Take our little heart. I can pick it up. A little um, jump ring, I mean, not hard. Pop that into there. And this will clip onto that one there. So then they are dangling down from there, which looks pretty, doesn't it? Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do, let's have a look. Of course, we'll have to have a little bit of the rose trim. I think these just go perfect. They're all sort of like little shabby roses, aren't they? which I absolutely love, which I think you could probably tell. So we're going to have one of those. We'll have a little bit of glue in there. Pop a little bit of glue on that one. I'm going to pop a little bit of bling on there. Pop the little flower just on the heart. And then we've got... Let's take one of these with my little pen. Oops. And just put a little bit of bling on there. I think they look so pretty. I think I even might do. Let's have a look. Let's take a little bit of seam binding and make a little bow. Start again. Just like that. Just nice small little bow on there. Probably got ready made bows as well in your stash somewhere. So you could use one of those. Take my scissors. Wrinkle it up a bit and then we could have a tiny little bow on there, couldn't we? I think that looks pretty. Just stick that on there. And there we go. Really, really simple. And I think they look just so, so pretty like that. Hanging off your pages or envelopes or little gift bags or whatever you want to do. But if you make up a little stash of these, they're perfect. I'm going to pop that one over there. I'm going to show you quickly how to make the simple little dangly ones with the chain. Now I've made some chain here. So I've got two, four, I've got six little bits from the chain and one of the jump rings from the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have two. And I've got another longer one here, which has got two, four, six, eight, nine little links on that one so I'm going to take two of our little hearts a little smaller hearts and make a hole in there oh that one's already got a hole in so I shall use that one take a couple of the little jump rings here and these are the five millimeter ones Pop that on there. Pop that. If you don't have any chain and you've got jump rings, you could just link them together and make a little bit of chain to dangle them off. So just pop that onto here. Like that. So simple but so pretty. Take your little paper clip, pop that on there, take the other one, pop that on there and then you've got your little dingly dangly hearts. Now 
you could um, leave them like that or again you can embellish, embellish them I think I'm going to add another little heart just up there so let's just punch a little hole in that get another little jump ring here pop that on there pop that through the little bit of chain there and we've got three just dangling off like that so I think that looks really pretty and if you've got the side so it's just an envelope but you can pop that on the side of your pages in your journals and I think they will look absolutely gorgeous if you wanted to you could actually pop a little eyelet in there so it doesn't rip um, but I think they look so so pretty now I'm going to pop just a tiny little bit of the bling because you don't want anything too big on here so let's just have three little bits of bling you could pop some um, um, stickles on here as well or you could pop oh I'll tell you what would look nice is one of my little butterflies would look quite pretty on hanging off here now where are they let's have a look if I got some giddy little butterflies in here just want the tiny tiny one look at this one pop that on a little bit of glue where's my little pen Pretty, wouldn't it? Just like that. Bit of glue on there. Gosh, I've got too much stuff on my table today. I'm going to put a little bit of bling on that one. A little bit on that one. And the itty bitty one just on the butterfly there it'll come off there we go still a little bit wet a little bit of glue on there but i think that looks so so pretty like that i think i might pop a little bit of stickles on there i think that would look really pretty just be careful until they dry i'm a bit impatient sometimes see if I've got any stickles in here left just a tiny bit on his little wings there I think that looks so pretty so there we go guys they are quite simple to make once you know how um, and I think they look so pretty so this is them over here so this one can pop next to this one here and dangle down like that I think they look so lovely don't they so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed that again I hope you're going to give it a go because they are really really simple and so so pretty just like that that's the one we made Let's pop all these little bits out of the way that's the one we just made as well this one I absolutely love. This was the first one I made and I think it's so, so pretty. And then we got here the little ones with the little dangly hearts on, which are so, so cute. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Um, you have a fantastic day and I will see you all soon. All right, bye-bye.